Hello, I'm Kathy Dice and welcome to the Budget Ease Broadcast. I'm a QuickBooks expert and I'm here to help you grow your business using QuickBooks as a tool. Today we're going to talk about 1099s. We're going to talk about why do we need to face this challenge every January. Well, it's because the IRS requires that we submit 1099s for any vendors that provide services to us in the past year. And it hits every January, so it's no surprise. But what can you do to make sure that um, it ha it's done well? First, let's talk about what happens if you don't do it. Well, they're going, the IRS is going to charge a fine of anywhere between $50 and $280 per form that's been filed incorrectly. And what's going to happen is they're going to send you a notice in the mail that's going to be confusing. You're going to try, try to call the IRS and you're going to wait on the phone for a ridiculously long time, period of time. Then they're going to ask you to fax information to support some additional questions that they have for you. So we want to save you time so that this never happens to you. We want to save you money so that you never have to pay any fees or forms. So if you haven't been filing your 1099s correctly in the past, or you've been spending a lot of time doing it yourself, here's some tips. This year, right now, find someone to file your 1099s for you. You have limited time as a small business owner trying to grow your business, as well as you don't really have the skill to do this. Filing 1099s is a bit tricky, so you might as well hire someone that's used to managing this um, process using great applications to make the job go easier. These applications even request W-9s from your vendors. So right now, hire someone else to make sure that you don't have to do this. Next, don't even get involved in collecting um, the W-9s. Someone else should be doing that for you, again, because your time is more valuable. So now, once you've done that, and the third thing is to make sure that your financial information is up to date every single month. If you do that, you're not doing two things in January. Playing catch up on your financial information, which has to be done before you file your 1099s, as well as filing those 1099s. So I've given you a couple tips on how you can manage this process and told you why. This is an important thing that we need to do, even though it's not something we enjoy or want to do in every January. Um, and you can think about that now and um, make sure that your 1099 process is as smooth and um, requires the, list, the least amount of your energy as possible. So thank you so much for joining this broadcast. I hope you found this information helpful and um, look forward to joining you at the next one. Thanks so much.